Have you ever seen 86 inches of widescreen connected to a PC? Yo guys, it's Michael here. Another video, another TV. Today it's the Q60A from Samsung and as always, I bought two. Yo guys, welcome to the man cave and like you see it's a big mess over here. Today we're gonna create two separate battle stations. One for the missus somewhere over here and one for myself. As you can see I'm currently running a 50 inch Sony Bravia X900E from 2017 but today we're replacing it with two 43 inch Samsung Q60As. Yo, so uh, this particular video is not going to be about uh, gaming, it's not going to be about the specs of the TV. If you're here for that, please look somewhere else, I'm not going to be covering all the details. A good review of this particular TV is listed on artings.com, a TV review website basically. And uh, today we're only doing productivity stuff and I'm going to be using these two TVs as my um, computer screens to 4K display. So obviously guys this is going to be a productivity setup. I didn't buy this for gaming, I didn't buy this for any other purpose and I do have a couple of other um, nice bits and bobs to show you uh, that will complement this setup very very well. As you can see it's a widescreen uh, dual kind of a setup uh, 43 inches each. There is no other video on the internet that is going to show you what can be done uh, with this kind of a setup and right now it's in a horizontal uh, kind of a configuration I will be showing you other configs as well I did buy a uh, specific um, product for that well not one not two uh, I bought three as always uh, these are the counterbalance monitor arms that will be used to shape the looks of this setup in a various various different ways okay the two screens are connected and i do currently have eight full hd windows open okay seven seven of them i did this because uh, i want to show you what can be done how many windows can you open up and how much of real screen real estate you actually have these are two screens and these are two uh 4k screens each one is running the full true 4k resolution i'm gonna get uh, to that in a minute so you have basically 8k of resolution at the moment uh on two screens over here the Q60A Samsung comes uh, as a new 2021 QLED TV. In the box you get the TV of course and cu a couple of uh, accessories, cables and stuff. Uh, a nice feature is that you get two separate remotes. This is the standard remote, uh, battery powered. However, this one is a, a solar, solar remote. So you can charge it up using the solar power or you can use it as a USB. Uh, the thing is that if you pair uh, one remote with one TV, it's actually working only with that one TV. It doesn't control both of them at once. If you want to reset um, a remote, uh, I think you need to press the back button and the center button for a couple of seconds and then the red light flashes. I did this a few times, however, I uh, can't unpair. It's it's very strange. I can't really control the other TV with uh, with this uh, remote once it's spared. I don't know. The native resolution on this is uh, 30, 3840 by 2160. It's a recommended one. However, if you do that, uh, the TV somehow um, creates these little black bars on the sides. Uh, so if I click revert, it's going back to the to the full 4K uh, uh, situation. And also, if I, if you click a video and you go full screen, in this resolution you get you get the black bars, you get the two black bars on the sides. Let's just um, 
click click this out so you get these two bars if you change the resolution to the uh, to the one um, which is um, the recommended one uh, the color pro profile changes and then you cannot enter the game mode um, with that particular resolution and there's a there's a strange kind of a balance between between the game mode and the resolution and the colors that can be uh, can be set up uh, between the modes. I basically this is the best option. This is the best resolution. The only resolution that can be viewed uh, while having the game mode enabled. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't get it to work any other way. However, the real star of today's video is this uh, mount. It's a desktop uh, mount for a. 43 inch uh, screen and I bought three of them it's a counterbalance monitor arm with USB free port so I'm gonna be unpacking these in a moment and yeah we're gonna play around with these Because the World Lift counterbalance monitor arm comes only as a 200 by 100 or 100 by 100 visa uh, standard, so uh, you need to get a uh, adapter to stretch it out. And of course, I did it the wrong way round. Uh, the screws need to be on the other side. Okay, so once again, I made a mistake, and I need to unscrew everything. Okay, so I uh, made a mistake the third time. Uh, this all this is supposed to be on the other side guys honestly I, if you don't go by the manual you're gonna make a big mistake every time and right now it fits it fits beautifully it fits perfectly what a dumbass it's the wrong way round of course it always was the wrong way round Fortunately, no one is sponsoring this video, so I can make as many mistakes as I want with my own money. Uh, so yeah, you have to have a ledge uh, to mount this. Okay, so the mount of truth. This is the arm. It's got some uh, cable management features. It's uh, fully adjustable. I mean like you can do anything you can switch like that sure no problem you can show something to your friends like yeah no problem wanna move it further to, further away it's there you've got so much space I mean, everything is configurable. Look. I mean, let's do another one. Everything is metal, however, this one piece is very hard plastic. Very hard plastic. And I'm like, why? The every all the all the weight, like thirteen kilos. I don't know, no, thirteen. No, that's too much. Like six kilograms, six kilos of this TV uh, rests on this plastic element over here. Yeah, this plastic element, and it's not that um, convincing. To be honest.
sure you have to strain your uh, neck a little bit while looking at the top screen I even don't have half of the functions of uh, this um, of these uh, mounting systems uh, uh, utilized uh, each one of these um, arms uh, can handle two USB free ports uh, as you can see I didn't even connect them uh, there's my uh, computer here and uh, it basically looks like this from the side so there's one arm on a elevation because two arms uh, on one height they can't uh, give you the this um, ability and uh, yeah basically just to give you some some idea what's going on it's not too bad I didn't want uh, this setup to be left and right because when you have the two screens in the middle like for example you have the split over here so you have to look far away to the left and then far away to the right to be able to see uh, the screens um, in the vertical uh, I'm sorry in the portrait uh, option you can't bend you can't tilt the upper screen towards you uh, so you get a little bit of a uh, color shift and brightness uh, variation I think the setup is finished for now I can't uh, have handle for changing this uh, anymore the top screen is tilted downwards the bottom screen is uh, flat basically towards my uh, face um, it seems like this is the best uh, setup for now.